السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Here is Ms. Mariam Torek, and this is the puzzle course. This is session number two. For How are you everything? I'm welcome. Okay. Okay, let's start our session today. Our session today will be about reading comprehension. About our course, our course is kindly don't um, don't write um, um, any questions um, not concerning our session in the chat. The chat is designed to make um, for students in all the task they uh, course. So start, let's start our session today. Preparation for TOEFL exam. Today we are going to take Chapter 2, Reading Comprehension Skills. For strong reading comprehension skills are essential for success on the TOEFL exam. In this chapter, you will learn exactly what to read. You will learn exactly what the reading comprehension section of the TOEFL exam is like. You will also review and practice basic reading comprehension skills so that you can you can better understand what the reading, what is reading, or how to read an, a, um, a passage, how to understand the main points, how to be objective while you are reading any uh, any passage or any comprehension. Um, so these skills are needed in the exam um, for the reading comprehension skills. This um, this section three. In of the TOEFL exam is devoted to reading comprehension skills. Admissions officers want to understand all of the reading means that comprehension, reading comprehension skills are needed by because um, the examiner, the, the, the people who are supposed to examine you, want to make sure that you can understand English or you can understand every single word or maybe you can give the main ideas uh, about any comprehension or any passage. So, so training, uh, practicing these, um, these skills are very important. The TOEFL exam reading comprehension, this is a part of your uh, part of test. What to expect? What do you expect from this? Or um, okay, if you have a voice problem, so please refresh your page. Thank you. Okay, so uh, what do you expect from this comprehension and what do the examiner expect from you? You will be asked to read a short passage, usually no more than five to
uh, the okay. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Jazakumullah khairan. Okay. Um, kindly, kindly stop the chat because it affects the sound. Uh, please. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Reading passage on the TOEFL exam are typically factual and often academic in nature. You have. It, we are not. We are not reading comprehension for casual for casual reasons. I mean, like not for entertaining ourselves. We reading while reading any passage. We have to be academically uh, acquainted to the information, the main the main point, the main idea, and these. Uh, and these points are very important for you as a learner. You have to be aware uh, of these elements. Okay. Kinds of reading comprehension and questions on the TOEFL exam. Kinds of reading comprehension and questions of the to on the TOEFL exam. Most reading comprehension questions on the TOEFL exam will fall into one of nine categories. You will be the, the kinds or the types of questions will be in a, in a, in a, in a nine forms. They, you can, um, they can ask you about the main idea, the vocabulary, specific fact or detail, exceptions, location of information, inference, references, paraphrase sentence only in computer based tests or sentence insertion only also in a computer based test that means inshallah we are going to 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 explain every single um, kind of the just like us let's see as for the main idea, this question asks you one idea of the passage or time-specific paragraph. As a sample questions, these questions you may find something similar to these questions in the exam. The main idea of this passage is best is best expressed in the in which sentence. This is one type, one kind of question. Okay, they can ask you this. The main idea of this passage. Where can you find it? When can, can you point the main idea of this uh, of this passage? So you have to be to focus while reading. You are, don't read for uh, like not don't feel like easy while you are reading or don't feel casual for as a casual reading or something like that. Just focus to to find or to identify the main idea of the passage. Which of the following would be the best title for this passage? They are going to give you choices and ask you which point or which choice is or can be best uh, can be the best title for this passage. What is this passage mainly about? So you have to state the main idea or what is what is this about or the general idea, the thesis sentence or the the topic sentence. What is the author's main purpose in this passage? The main purpose, the main reason, the main cause. Okay, so you are going to find these uh, the, the answers of these questions inside the passage while reading. As for the vocabulary, there are two types of vocabulary questions. To determine the meaning or a word as it is um, as it is used in the passage another way of, of questions or another type of questions would be the other which appear on the computer based test ask you to identify a synonym for the vocabulary word that means they are going to give you like um, a vocabulary and want you to find the meaning of this vocabulary okay 
In a multiple choice, you are going to choose the correct answer. Mm. Okay, so I just want to make sure that you are following. So, just one minute, excuse me. Okay. Very nice. Okay, thank you very much. So the sound is clear. Okay. That's nice. Okay, most of you understand what I say. That's that sounds that sounds promising. Very nice. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Okay. So, sample questions. The word indelible in paragraph 3 most likely means you are going to find such, such, such types of questions in the TOEFL exam. Questions look like these ones. Okay? So, the word protest in the passage 5 is closest in meaning to. The word, re the word remarkable in paragraph 2 could be best be replaced by. Look at the word charming in the passage. For example, charming will be uh, highlighted. So, highlighted word will be pointed out in the passage. Click on another word in the bold text that is closest in meaning to charming. As for specific facts or details, these kind of questions ask you to identify a specific fact or detail mentioned in the passage. The passage will be will include a lot of information, a lot of sentences, a lot of ideas, okay? And the tester or the examiner wants you want wants wants you to get a piece of a specific piece of information. They want this, okay? And they want to assess your ability to to get this point. So, they ask uh, such questions. What causes a lunar eclipse, for example? Okay, so you have to find out from the passage that what is the main cause of a lunar eclipse. Okay, when did the last lunar eclipse occur? This information you are going to find it included in the, into the inside the passage itself, okay? But read carefully, and then you are going to find to find this information. So you have to know that to, to have the ability and the skill to find out this uh, this information. Or what did many pagan cultures believe cause a lunar eclipse? Okay. As for the exceptions. Okay. Bismillah. Sorry. As for the exceptions, this is another type of questions which ask you to identify which item was not specific specifically mentioned in the passage. They are going to to mention a lot of a lot of um, ideas or information or or any any type of sentences which 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 were uh, mentioned one sentence included these sentences. Which characteristic does not describe an 
um, in the thermic reaction okay and you are going to find a lot of multi um, choices and you are going to pick the the characteristic which which wasn't mentioned in the passage which of the following was not identified as a cause of the stock market crash some sort of echo okay um uh, Ms. Lapaik, uh, please, uh, would you please check? Is there an echo? A sound echo? Okay. The voice not clear. Okay. So let's continue. Okay. Another question will be like uh, a sample question will be a person who uh, a person with a bipolar disorder would not exhibit which symptoms. There are symptoms. Okay, symptoms mean um, features or signs of um, the the. Uh, Uh, the bipolar disorder it's, it's a disease uh, illness okay so which is is not uh, considered as a symptom for this disease it will be in your it, it, you are going to find it clear in the passage but the point is how to read the passage and how to be uh, to how how to to, ha to be like understandable like to to read and to understand what is the point behind this uh, behind behind the passage, okay. So another type of question is about location of information. This kind of question asks you to identify the exact place in the passage where the specific information is provided. That means to ask you to identify to find the place in we, in in the passage where a piece of information is provided. Okay, they ask in which part, in which passage. Like where in the passage, where in the full third you find the term endothermic, in which passage, okay? And you are, you are going to have like um, uh, choices like paragraph one or two or three or four. Another question can be like uh, click on the sentence in paragraph two in which the author mentions the symptoms of the bipolar disorder. As for another type of or sample question, will be click on the paragraph that discusses the treatments for the bipolar. They ask, where can you find this information in the passage? Do you understand the passage or not? Can you po points or or questions or or information in the passage? Can I can you identify and recognize them or not? As for the inference, this can ask you to make an inference, to draw a logical conclusion, to make a conclusion, to understand what's between the lines, based on the information in the passage. As a sample question, the author suggests that insects with more than eight legs, or this passage su suggests that Greek tragedies are still so powerful because and you are going to choose the right choice or the right answer according to your understanding to the passage the passage as for the references these questions ask you to determine what a specific word or phrase in the passages refers to the word or phrase is often uh, pronouns such as it's okay like it, it can be like a pronoun like um, I went to the party it was very nice for example it refers to I or the party or nice it refers to which word so you have to, to understand what does it mean or and what does the word it refers to 
So as a sample question will be the word uh, the word them in the paragraph three refers to and you are going to find a lot of choices and you have to pick one. Or look at the word it in the passage, click on the word or par or, or phrase in uh, in the bold text that it refers to. This is for the internet based text text. Uh, you are going to click to make this word bold in order to make a reference for the uh, for the pronoun it. Okay. Paraphrased sentences. Paraphrased sentence. Paraphrased sentence. Because it really wants to say in the passage refers to. The word phrase is often pronounced such as it here. It doesn't refer. It doesn't refer to uh, a word. It refers to a sentence. As you can see the title here, paraphrased sentences. Sample questions will be like. What did the author mean by the sentence the design was radically different from the other design pr proposed? What did the author mean by the statement unfortunately many people do not understand that bipolar disorder is a mental illness and that patients mood swings are not in their control? You are going to be ask to about these sentences. Okay. What does it refer to? Okay, I'm sorry. So the line is sorry. Okay. Mm. About since title is called voice is Okay. Okay, thank you. This is good for me. Okay, concerning the TOEFL spelling, it's 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 the correct spelling. And uh, by the way, just like a note, uh, I take here all the the chat after I finish the session, and I copy it, and then I answer it later on on the group. Hope you are following the boss on the on the group. About sentence insertion. About sentence insertion. Insertion means to insert. To okay to insert. Okay. To, so this question asks you to identify the best, most logic place within the passage to insert a new sentence. They suggest they give you a new sentence and ask you. So uh, whether. You uh, whether can you put it in um, in the most logical place inside the passage or not? According to your understanding, your understanding, you have to know where to to insert a new um, sentence with the to, to, you know like to to make um, to make the harmony or to not to break the harmony of the passage. So uh, this ability or this uh, or this skill is very important for you as a, as a student or as a reader um, to, to to fulfill your score. So you will be asked to choose from several possible choices marked with a small square like like this, like this square. Questions? 
following sentence can be added to these cycles of mania and depression are often unpredictable and can vary greatly in length. Where would this sentence best fit in the paragraph? Click on the square. This square will be, uh, will be displayed inside the paragraph to add the sentence to the paragraph. Okay. Essential reading comprehension skills are good and active readers. Active readers. These strategies will help you better understand what you read and help you to do well in the, on the exam. Active reading, the active reading should be um, should be carried on um, all the time while reading a passage. It will help you during writing or even the reading comprehension. So reading should be an active exercise when you read, you should interact with the text. Paying careful attention involved. Whenever you read, use these active reading strategies to improve your reading comprehension. We, I'm going to display uh, reading strategies. These strategies are going to help you to remember where to find the information, or where to, infer to, to, to insert a new sentence, or can, to, to, to find the main idea, or to find uh, what what does the, the, the any pronoun like it or them refers to? Um, follow these strategies, and inshallah, we are going to practice these strategy strategies today. Um, so focus, please. Before you begin reading, scan the text to see what's the, what's ahead. You have to understand what is it about, what's the main topic, what's the main idea, what you know, like a general to make a, a general uh, overview uh, all over the text. Is the reading broken into sections? What are the main topics of these sections? In what order are they covered? What keys, what key words or ideas are bold-faced or bolted, boxed, or otherwise highlighted? So you have to focus because this, this. Uh, the, the overview it's like 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 overviewing a book or something you have to know what is it about what's the main subject is it uh, positive or negative is it good or bad uh, what's the opinion the feelings about uh, of, of the writer himself when you finish reading jump back after you finish reading jump back go back review the summaries head headings and highlighted information this includes what you highlighted too while you are reading, while you are reading, don't forget to highlight the, the important or in, in your opinion. Sometimes, sometimes you think that some information, some information are really important. So highlight them. Okay. So after you finish reading, go back and review the summaries, headings, and highlighted information that maybe that some of them you did it yourself, you highlighted them yourself. Jumping back help you remember the information you just read. read. You can see how each idea fits into the whole and how ideas and information are connected. That will make, make it clear in your mind. Okay, It will make it easier for you to remember the information and you will be able to see how each idea fits into the whole paragraph or the whole passage and how ideas and information are connected. The ideas of the writers and the informations are connected. Okay. Another strategy is look up in unfamiliar vocabulary words. That means you have to use a dictionary while you are reading. Of course, you are not. You will not be. You will not. Um, they will not allow you to use the train the exam. But you have to build your vocabulary bank. So while you are reading, uh, for while you are practicing, continue looking at the meaning. Just 
beside it in a note or use a highlighter or maybe uh, use an um, external notebook or something okay just to to make your own vocabulary bank and this is very important for you this is will enhance your understanding for English in general and will make it for you make it easier for you to understand comprehension comprehension such you are going to find in uh, the TOEFL exam inshallah so one of the best ways to build your vocabulary is to always look up words you you don't know remember a key word or phrase can change the meaning of a whole passage have a dictionary with you when you read circle and look up an, um, any unfamiliar words right away circling them makes them easier to find if you lose your place okay that means highlight or circle these uh, uh, this vocabulary, this new vocabulary or unfamiliar words will make it easier to come back for it later on. So write the meaning of the words in the margin, in the margin of, of um, of the page. That that way you won't have to look up for the meaning again. Reference for you, okay? It will be always be uh, it will be all there. For if you are going to, if if you if you forgot this word or you want to uh, to find you want have
okay. Okay. So we were talking about strategies that you should follow in order to to obtain the most benefit out of the passage or to understand the, the reading, uh, the, the comp comprehension itself uh, or how to read a comprehension and how to obtain this skill. We said we to use our channel order to understand better and to keep this word in in our mind in order to be to use it later um, in the exam. So mark up the text this another thing which uh, which will help you to understand better to to obtain the information or to obtain the to get this uh, this information or to understand the points or, or um okay okay Please, um, the chat affects the sound quality. So we have, okay. So shall we continue? Shall we go, go on with the, our session? Are you okay? As you read, mark up the text. This includes three strategies: how to how to mark up um, at, um, any text. You have to be selective as we said before. We have to mark only infor uh, important information. Information, okay? So we have to be very selective. Not to, if we highlighted everything, we will not be able to find uh, to find or to pick the uh, the, info the important information out of the text. So highlight or underline keywords and ideas. Take notes and make notes. Tips for reference and paraphrased. Okay, or paraphrased sentences. Uh, this is very important for uh, for these two kinds of question. Um, these tips are will help you for better understanding. Will help you to get uh, to to understand the paragraph or the the, the comprehension in a better way. Uh, the sentences that ask you to identify a reference or the best paraphrase for a sentence are testing a similar skill. Both of these questions are testing the same skill that you you can understand the, the text and you can um, point the um, you know like if they are asking you where this information so you can pick it out of the passage or you can find it right right in in a, in a very short time in both cases you need to show that in both cases you need to show that you understand what a particular sentence is saying the following strategy can help you to ensure to, it, it can ensure you that um, it can help ensure that you give the correct answer. First, eliminate any answer that you know that they are they are not correct. The first thing you are going to do, you are going to delete the answers that you think or you know by heart that these answers are not not correct. Then, take the remaining choices and insert them one at a time into the sentence. Or a paragraph that means you are going to take every choice and you are going to replace it one each time. Does the answer make sense in this contents paragraph? And if not, it is not the correct answer. For example, notice how.
tackle this work with the following uh, reference question. Look, this is an example, and we are going. The word, word they in paragraph three refers to suffering the P or of or the team members for the time that they have um, occasional mood swings. So here is a sentence in uh, in which they is used. They are often greatly revealed to learn that they suffer from a, a treatable medical condition. So they refers to which choice of this uh, from these choices. Okay. Obviously they refers to people not symptoms so we can immediately rule out answer B we are going to cross answer B because symptoms symptoms mean causes symptoms mean um, sure, it's like if you have if you are if if you have a flu, so you are going to sneeze and uh, you you are going to have like a red eye or something. I'm not a doctor, so these that that what we call uh, symptoms. Uh, the sound the sound sign here is the, is clear for me, so um, it says that the sound is clear. So. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, the sound is clear. So let's continue. You see, man, I guess you have you have the problem. So please refresh uh, your page. Uh, use Firefox. Man, please, um, you can refresh your page. Okay, so now you can begin to uh, the purpose of the illumination by replacing B with each of the remaining answers. Okay, who can tell me uh, which uh, which uh, uh, which choice will be the correct answer? Um, if you want to participate, please raise your hand. Use the button um, which uh, which is up. Okay. Any one of the audience, only one of the students? Can you tell me which choice will be the correct answer? Is it ready? Again, the question again. Any one of the students can answer this one. If you can, please raise your hand to take the mic. Okay, no one. Is there any? Uh, um, is, it, is it an option to raise to raise a hand to take the mic? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So we not we want to activate this option. Okay. Okay, answer A. Okay, answer A. Okay, answer A is not, yes. This is the correct answer. Thank you very much. The question was that which of these options we can use? Uh, they refer refers to one option 
of this, uh, whether A, B, C, or D. So obviously, obviously, A. Let's let's take it step by step. Like if we're if we are going to replace every choice with B. The choice A will be people who suffer from bipolar disorder are often uh, greatly revealed to learn that they suffer from a uh, treatable medical condition. Okay. For C, families member of people with bipolar disorder are often greatly revealed to learn that they suffer from a, a treatable medical condition. D will be people who have occasional mood swings. Uh, are often greatly, uh, greatly revealed to learn that they suffer from a treatable medical condition. So, so this process made, made it very clear that answer A is the correct answer, the choice the correct answer have to follow this G records of I don't know or you are confused you have to follow this strategy in order to make it clear in mind how to find the main idea finding the main idea standardized reading comprehension tests always have questions about the main idea of the passage but just what is what is the main idea and why it's so important, why it's so important to know the main idea or to identify or recognize the main idea out of the text. The topic, what and what is different between the topic or the subject of any passage and the main idea? The topic is what the passage is about. The main, the very general um, phrase. Okay, but the main idea is the over, overall fact, feeling, or thought of a writer that the writer wants to convey about his or, or her subject. Okay, so let's see this. In other words, this is a passage about the, uh, the immune system. Um, I want someone to read this passage, please, as a practice for speaking and uh, reading and how to read. Okay, if if you, Mr. Uh, Miss Lake, Miss Mad, I should. Okay. So okay, I'm not I'm not sure that this uh, this option ha how it works. So let's go on with the, with the with the passage anyway. The immune system uses a complex and remarkable communication network to defend the body against infection. D. Uh, okay, his his name is just uh, he didn't try it any guest. Uh, it's just Ahmed, Mr. Ahmed. Sorry, I don't understand the question. Okay. Anyway, I just want you to, to be active with the, uh, the session. So if anyone wants to, to read this passage, this small paragraph, it's, uh, it will be very, uh, very effective. So his name is Ahmed. Okay. The immune system uses a complex and a remarkable communication network to define, uh, to defend the body against infection. The body millions and millions of organized into sets and sub subsets. No, Ms. Labaik. No, his name is just Ahmed. These cells pass information back and forth like clouds of bees swarming around the heap. The result is a sensitive system of checks and balances that produce a profit 
appropriate and effective immune response. The topic of this paragraph is the immune system. Okay, Mr. Ahmed, are you ready to, to read this paragraph? Or Okay. Okay. So, uh, so as for the topic of this paragraph is the immune system. This is the general idea. This is what is the passage about, or what is the topic about, or what about, or what is the uh, the paragraph is about. Okay, but it's not the main idea. The main idea reflects what reflects the facts or the feelings of the writer himself. Okay, the writer of this paragraph. So, the main idea is what the writer is saying about the immune system. Here is the main idea is expressed in the first sentence like the immune system uses a complex and a remarkable communication network to defend the body against infection. This is, this is the main idea. But the topic sentence or the topic about of the, this paragraph is the immune system, this phrase. Okay. Okay, why is the main idea, why it is important? Because, okay, please don't move slides, thank you. Okay. The main idea is very important. Why it's important? Because it's the idea that the passage adds up to. 
it's like a building okay so we add to this and I add outside this idea okay it's what holds all the ideas in the passage together and in, in the writer's main point it's the writer's main point okay um, so the main ideas need to be su sufficiently general they have to they have to they have to be uh, general and broad enough okay that's they need to be broad enough for all of, of the other sentences in the passage to fit underneath like people underneath an umbrella it's like an image for for an umbrella and people underneath this umbrella the umbrella is the main idea the people underneath this this umbrella we call it like supportive or sub, uh, sub, uh, uh, yes supporting ideas okay this format can be diagrammed as a follow the, this um, relationship between the main idea and supporting ideas can be drawn like this. Okay. Okay. This is a general idea, and this is a specific fact or detail which which supports the main idea. We call it supporting because it supports the main idea. Okay, it, it it does not talk about another point or another idea or a different point of view. They are serving the main idea or the same idea. How to distinguish between the main idea and supportive idea? Is a sentence making a general statement? Is it general? or it's, is it proving a specific information is it it, it, it gives uh, a specific detail or fact or f information only one sentence is general enough to serve as an umbrella or a net for the whole paragraph writers often provide clues that can help you to distinguish between main main idea and their support some of the some common words and phrases used to introduce specific examples. E. I understand that it means main idea or supporting ideas. Would you please open the chat? Okay, when I see when I see the word examples here or the word specific, let's say specific this indicates main idea or supporting idea. I think in fact this all this it's, it's very uh, very uh, limited and and gives only one piece of information okay but for the main ideas it has to be general and uh, and a broad enough to to um, uh, or a broad enough in order to include a lot of supporting ideas okay or minor minor uh, details like what like for example for instance, for instance, mean for example to, in particular, in addition, an addition equals and, furthermore, some such as specifically or others. Okay, again, the main idea, the difference between the main idea and supporting idea. The main idea is general. It's a broad idea. Broad mean, means big idea. Broad. Mm, okay, specific means means uh, uh, supporting idea. Okay, so again, what is the difference between the main idea and supporting idea? The main idea is broad and general, a big idea. Okay, as for the supporting ideas, it's it's uh, specific ideas, which provide the reader. 
with details or facts. Okay? When I'm when we talk about when we uh, uh, okay, let's let's go. Back. back to the immune system paragraph here. The main idea is it uses a complex and remarkable communication network to define the body against the infection. The broad uh, general idea, okay? He started to to give you like examples or, or uh, facts about this immune system, like inside the body millions and millions of cells. He, he, now the writer is explaining or justifying his an idea. He's giving reasons or giving an explanation. Okay, about his main idea. Millions of millions of to ascend. Okay, he's describing what system, giving you an information, giving you a, a, a an example. Okay. Okay, let's see. As for the topic sentences. As for the topic sentences, writers often state their main ideas in one or two sentences. In a long essay, the main idea is often called the thesis or the theme. Why? Because we said the main idea is like an umbrella, and supportive ideas like or supporting ideas is li are, are like people under underneath this umbrella. Okay, so if this the main idea is repeating in every paragraph, okay, that will it will make it like thesis or theme. Each paragraph also has its own main idea. Okay, so a paragraph. What is a paragraph? A paragraph is a group of sentences about the same idea. And a topic sentence, the sentence that, the sentence that expresses the main idea of a paragraph. Okay, the topic sentence is the sentence that expresses the main idea of a paragraph. The first sentence in the new system paragraph states the main the main idea. This sentence is therefore the topic sentence of the paragraph. Okay, so you are going to be uh, to to be asked like to find the main idea or the the topic sentence in the paragraph. Okay, so the first thing you are going to do to find the main idea. Where's the main idea? Where's the main idea? When you find it in a sentence, this sentence will be the topic, the topic sentence. Okay. Okay, so the topic sentence can be at the beginning or in the middle or at the end of the paragraph it depends on what generally or usually it's in the very beginning of every paragraph okay but some sometimes uh, some some writers just they they want they have their own style they they use it or they uh, write it in the, the middle or at the end of the paragraph so uh, it, it, it it's according to the writer himself the main idea for each paragraph supports the main idea in the whole passage. The main idea of each paragraph supports the main idea in the whole passage. Okay, that means most questions about main idea on the TOEFL exam will probably ask you to identify the overall main idea. Writers, there overall these thesis statements are, are not quite as common as topic sentence in paragraph you will opt to look carefully at the answers uh, at the answers options and decide which of these ideas best in, um, encompass, uh, encompass the ideas in the passage okay I just want okay let's say I'm going to write paragraph or I have an essay. Okay. Okay. Okay, if we are going to write an essay, the first paragraph we are going to write
the main idea. And this is the general rules have different. styles okay so this will be the the topics and then the paragraph another paragraph we are going to start with the topic sentence which include the main item here and we are going to the essay I'm sorry this is just uh, scratches for how it looks like okay and and uh, of more of uh, or seven paragraphs, so a new paragraph with a new topic sentence with a with a uh, main idea. Okay, and this is the rest of our paragraph. Okay, this if we are going to draw the so will include include a topic a ten, a main idea. and every idea and every main idea here in every passage will will be include be will serve will be a supportive idea for the, the big general main idea of the whole Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anyway, this is practice one to practice about uh, how to find the subject and the main idea out of, uh, of an essay. So uh, this essay consists of um, four paragraphs and we are going to try to find out the, the, the answers. Okay, so you have uh, it's a paragraph, and then I'm going to show you the um, the question, and then you are going to to uh, to answer them.
Did you finish re did you finish reading? What is the switch? Was it? Kinds of bicycles or the his bicycles who I go or pink and perhaps what did you understand? What was the main subject of this passage? Okay. The chat, please. B. B. Okay. It's kind of easy. It's not that complicated. Always have to understand. That's the right answer. That's right. Okay, question number two. Main idea of this type is best expressed in which sentence? Sentence A to the dates are, are so common. Okay. Six. Two of yeah, this passage today are so common to believe that they haven't always been a sent uh, sentence 13, sorry. It wasn't until in four that the that the first tr true modern bicycle appeared at the scene. Sentence four. Since then, <laughs> is then however version an improved bicycle one of the most popular for uh, recreation and transportation around the world. Sentence eighteen. Today, they are built, used, or okay. <laughs> A or B or C or D. Okay, I guess. Is it confusing? Is it hard? I guess your 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 answers are not the same. No, it's not hard. Okay. C and B. Okay. You have to pick only one choice. B, 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 C, A, Mashallah, okay. Okay, I want everyone who, th for example, what, uh, someone who thinks that number A is the main idea, okay, take the mic and tell me why it's the main idea, why do you think it's the main idea? Explain it to to your friends because it's it's if it, if it is different it's if it is different to understand uh, one passage in a different ways it, it's not true 
They, they are not going to assist you according to a different understanding. If you cannot understand the, the, the paragraph properly, then there's a, there's a, a kind of problem where you need to fix this, OK? So for example, um, someone who thinks that uh, sentence one is the main idea, please tell me why. Raise your hand. Raise your hand to take the mic, or C, or, or whatever. Tell me why you, you, you picked this choice. Mr. Rabia, are you ready to take the mic? Okay, Engineer Muhammad, are you ready? Engineer Engineer Muhammad?
are you? Sound is good or not? Yeah, the first I need to Dear uh, Mohammed, I talk now. Uh, I choose number uh, B, the the story, uh, the history of uh, bicycle because uh, the letter of the row mean about that because it uh, number uh, the choice number one uh, it is very far about the idea because uh, are better and no any machine um, no another machine uh, it is uh, different And the number C it is very far also because about fitness and he didn't mention like that at at and the popularity popularity of bikes best okay and the popularity he don't mention about popularity. He mentioned the history of why and the thank you and uh, I need to number two oh sorry uh, number uh, sorry uh, the main idea of the way is a it is uh, it is uh, number C because it is uh, uh, because uh, the passage of the or the letter uh, talk about uh, the improvement of uh, of the of the cycle uh, all over the story. Uh, and it is the best uh, main idea for this I think like that because another choice it is very far about uh, that yeah. and because he mentioned uh, at the first uh, how uh, how the first bike bike and uh, another the improvement uh, all over the the time sorry i am not good in english but uh, inshallah with uh, miss mariam I, uh, I will be good thank you mr muhammad um, uh, I need also to, to hear from uh, uh, Mr. Abdul Azim. I handed him the mic in order just to make them participate in the exam in the in the practice. It's very important. So if you are ready, please pick the mic. Uh, I will mute mine in order to to be in order to let you use it. Okay, Mr. Abdul Azim. Okay. Thank you.
Can you hear me? Okay, I agree with Engineer Mohammed that the right answer is the third answer, C. Uh, because it's more uh, general idea that includes the importance of the bicycle and how much it is common nowadays. Uh, and also it gives me an idea about the whole passage that it is speaking about the history of, uh, of the, uh, the bicycle and its innovation uh, uh, improvements. But in the first uh, sentences, which is uh, next to to be the right answer after the third answer, it's only uh, يعني that says that the bicycle are common. So they are common because we are seeing them too much, we use them too much, uh, and no, none of this is mentioned in the uh, paragraphs. But the third answer uh, clearly says that a lot of uh, innovations and improvements in the, in the design have made to the bicycle, which uh, leads to that it is the most popular means of recreation and transportation. That's it. Thank you. This answer is an excellent answer. Why? Because he mentioned the magical word which is general. Sentence 4, or choice number C, is the only general choice in these four sentences. Okay, so only this sentence can, can fit to be the main idea. Others, they are main, minor ideas, or maybe they can, they, they can work as a supporting idea, not a main idea. Okay, thank you, Engineer um, Muhammad and, engin and Engineer um, Abdul Abdul Okay, for the question number three, which of the following would be the best title for this passage? Which one will be the, the which, source, which serve uh, as the best answer? Okay, if you want to, to take the mic, please uh, raise your hand and tell me why. Why did you pick this choice? Okay. Anyone wants to participate? C. A. Bicycles are better. B. A ride through a history of bicycle. C. Cycle your way to fitness. Or D. The popularity of bicycles. B, 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 B. Okay, why? Why? Why it's B? Okay, Jean Muhammad. Miss Lapek, please. Would you please let um, Mr. Muhammad, Engineer Muhammad, uh, to uh, to uh, to use the mic? Hello, you hear me? You hear me? Hello. Uh, I I think uh, uh, choice number B, are it through the history of five skills? Uh, this is a better idea. I think it goes towards the history of the five skills, which is the main idea that 
connect all the paragraph together. All uh, uh, all parts of the paragraph are connected by only single idea. Uh, that idea means uh, or, uh, focus on the history of pi skills. So uh, this uh, uh, choice number B uh, is a good or it's a best uh, uh, choice for uh, for that uh, questions. Thank you. That's true. We write through a history of bicycle. Okay. Because it's the only title which emphasizes the main idea of the passage or, or of our paragraph. Okay, I guess we understand now. Now you get uh, what does it mean or what does it, um, what it, what does the main idea has to do with uh, why it's important and why it will, it will help us to understand for better understanding and so. Uh, inshallah, these materials is going to be uploaded on the, the group, so you can practice at home. Inshallah, also I'm going to upload another practice in order to make it to, to, to help you to to, um, to practice at home and send me the answer. Um, I would also I would like to thank Mr. Haytham Magdi. Uh, I uploaded um, like a practice on the on the group, and he was the only one who answered. Who answered it and sent me the, um, the answers, and he got the food feedback. So, thank you, Mr. Heisen. Okay, concerning determining meaning from the context. This is another important thing. This is important to be understood even if right. it's okay. Find it to be able to guess the meaning of the whole text. Okay? And this skill and this skill this is skill this skill is needed in the TOEFL exam. So during the TOEFL exam you won't be allowed to use dictionary. Fortunately, by looking carefully to the, sentence, the sentences and ideas surrounding an unfamiliar word, you can figure out or guess or know the meaning of this word. Okay. As for the vocabulary questions are designed to test your ability to understand the context. Okay, we have to make difference between a word and a context. The context is the sentence and ideas around the world. Okay? That because this is an essential reading comprehension skill. We have to understand we have to be able to understand the context or to guess the meaning. If we face if we face a uh, different vocabulary or different word or new word, we have to be able to to understand the general meaning the whole text. Even if you are completely fluent in English, you will come across unfamiliar vocabulary words. You will need a context to figure out what those words mean in those situations. Okay. So let's look at an uh, f for an example to see. Uh, we are going to to look at. An to uh, at an example to see how you can use context to determine meaning. Read the sentences below carefully and actively. By the end of the day, I was famished. I would skip breakfast and had only eaten a, a pear for lunch. What does famished mean? Okay, is it mean famous? It sounds like famous. Is it mean very tired? Maybe. Is it mean very hungry? Possibly. But here is the point. Here is the point. We have to understand the context. 
he doesn't eat so it has to do with eating we have to choose something or some choice which has to do with eating so the only choice who who will who will be a correct answer will be very hungry so when we eat we will we will feel full okay but when we don't we will not we stop eating we will feel like hungry okay so no mr mahmoud uh, number b will be very tired it it has nothing to do it's it's not a tricky question it 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 has to do with do you understand do you understand what does it mean like uh, for example i skipped breakfast so he didn't eat in the breakfast and had only uh, eaten one pair so yeah starvation yeah Thank you very much. Okay, the context here clearly suggests answer C, very hungry. The second sentence tells us that the speaker had no breakfast and had very little lunch. He he hardly eat uh, had a lunch a, a lunch even. It's safe to co conclude then that the vanished had something to do with eating or rather not eating. Okay. Okay. I am so angry. The autographed picture of Michael Jordan turned out to be Pogus. This me that the the man who sold it to me had signed it himself. Pogus most nearly means this word, this uh, red word. What does it mean? Maybe it's it's new for most of us. But okay, fake or false? Believable? interesting expensive he's angry maybe because it's expensive hey, 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 mashallah. okay you got the, you got what I mean yeah okay honestly did you knew, uh, uh, did you know about this word before before this very moment have you ever heard about it before? Yeah, this is the point. Sometimes we face new words, but it it will be very very easy to get to guess the meaning of these words by understanding the context itself. So, so we have to be open-minded and to let our uh, our self to to give ourselves the chance to uh, to understand. Okay, so the correct answer will be fake or false thank you okay tips for vocabulary questions tips for vocabulary questions first use the context to determine whether the vocabulary word is something positive or negative you have to understand this word this new vocabulary is something good or bad if the word seems like something positive then eliminate eliminate means delete or um, or like skip the options that are negative and vice versa vice versa yeah remove thank you for example you can tell from the context that figures of uh, uh, Paris is something uh, something negative otherwise the speaker wouldn't be so angry if, if was it a uh, uh, positive the speaker won't be this angry okay we can therefore eliminate choice B and C. Second, replace the vocabulary uh, word with the remaining answers one at a time. Does, uh, does the answer make sense when you read the sentence? If not, you can eliminate this, that answer. In the bogus uh, example, we are left without two options. two options choice A fake or false or choice D expensive okay if you're angry so to see mix the context of the sentence of autogram real so choice A is the possible correct uh, correct answer Okay, let's move to the
He was so nervous. Okay. This is another prep. I want you to, to do number one and two. He was so nervous that his voice was squabbering. That means thundering, performing confidently, trembling, shaking notably, quite whispering softly, making a, a quick sound. Yes, inshallah, I'm going to upload it. Okay. Okay. B making a quick sound. A B B D. Cannot be quiet. B B. Okay. Let's follow let's follow the strategy that we just explained. Okay. So we said we said go back let's go back to our slide. Number one we are going to see is it positive or negative? Let's see. Is it positive or negative? Positive or negative? Negative. Great. Okay. So thundering, booming, confidently, we are going to eliminate this one. Okay. Quite whispering softly, maybe bling, maybe. Let's see what's the second step. To replace the vocabulary word Okay, offline why? Assalamu alaikum, are you there? Uh, can you hear me? Of course you are there. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Okay, making a quacking sound, like making the, the sound of the duck. Okay, I don't think someone who will, will be nervous, he will make a sound of a duck. Okay, so we are going to eliminate this choice. What about trampling, shaking, quiet whistle? We have only B and C. And obviously, the right choice or the correct choice will be number B. Thank you very much. Okay. The quacking quack. The quack is the sound of a duck. Okay, quack quack. Okay, it sounds be with trembling. Yes, when someone is nervous, it, 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 he's going to be. Okay, look at number two. I'm, I'm not going to read it. If someone uh, wants to uh, participate, please read your hand or say just I'm ready on the chat. If you are ready to take the mic. The mic, put it, okay. Miss, Miss Lebeck, please. Would you please hand him the mic, or her? Um, uh,
Yes, here. Butchie. Yeah. السلام عليكم اوكي اي اكسيدنتلي تول نيل اباوت هير سيربرايز بيرثدي بارتي وات ا ستيل بلندر ا بلندر از ا بلندر از اها ا بيرسون هو كانت كيب سيكريتس ان ايديا ا ميستيك اي جوت توجذر اجين اي اكسيدنتلي تول نيل اباوت هير سيربرايز بيرثدي بارتي وات ا ستيل بلندر Uh -huh. It's um, a mistake. It's a mistake because it's uh, stupid. Thank you very much. So, but the speaker oh, may mistake by telling the speaker may be a person who cannot keep secrets by choice age, but the focus in the passage is not on the action, is, is on the action itself, sorry, not on the person, not on the person performing the action, okay? So, choice B, an idea, doesn't make any sense, okay? So, the correct uh, the correct answer will be number C. C. It's C. Yeah, trust me, it's C. Again, okay. Let's say again. First, we are going to find. We are going to find where our keywords. Okay, the keyword is what a stupid plunder. Okay. So a plunderer is a here. What a st he, he he the focus here is not on the person himself. It's on the action. What a stupid plunder! What a stupid mistake! If we said what what uh, he he's not talking about himself. Okay. The plum. Now I focus about the action. It's obvious from the meaning from the meaning of the sentence. I accidentally told Nell about her surprise birthday party. What a stupid plunder. What a stupid mistake. He's talking about the situation, the action itself. He's not talking about the person. He's not talking about himself. Okay? So he's talking about the action itself. Okay? The situation, the action. Not he's not talking about himself. Okay, are you persuaded? Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, you're going to do the rest of the practice, inshallah, as a homework. So, Uh, I guess we are going to stop here today. We are not going to go further with identifying specific facts and details. Um, I just want to to say a few points about our course. Our course has a group on the, on the Facebook. Please join our group. Okay, ask to join our group. I upload all the materials needed on the group. You are most welcome to answer to to answer any questions on the group and I will inshallah I will do my best to to uh, to answer your questions I always take a um, copy from uh, from the chat and I answer it later on on the group's wall 
Okay, you are going to find the first session on the group as a PDF. Yes, the last session, the last lecture, you are going to find it as a PDF on the on the wall. Also, you are going to find practice. So follow us on the group in order to um, to keep you know like with the recent um, the recent activities. Uh, just want to I need to know whether you are participating on the group uh, in the group or not are you checking the group from uh, from time to time or not Okay. Did you answer? Did you answer the practice in the? Uh, have if any of you uploaded the practice from uh, from the group or not? Did you find it interesting? Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Inshallah, see you next time, next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Um, we are going to ask uh, a random questions on the wall of the group. Please follow us on the group and uh, be active student. Zakum wa khairan. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If you have any questions, please um, ask on the wall of this, the group. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum.